Welcome back with an update on the tropics, so let's get down to it. First off, final update on Rena. 30 mile an hour wind post tropical cyclone and maintaining that strength through the night. Um, just a little bit further north. Satellite imagery is not going to be a thing today because just getting other video uploaded and yeah, so we got count models and winds. I think. Yeah, there's that. Um, and then we got Philip with 50 mile an hour winds, still a potential threat for Antigua Barbuda, hence the tropical storm watches and warning. Maybe warnings issued. But yeah, 50 mile an hour winds, 60, 60, 60, 5, 75 hurricane, and an 85 at the end of the forecast. Again, satellite imagery is not loading. Cone, this will be thumbnail. Still got just tropical storm watches. Uh, we got models and winds. And with satellite being out, there's just not going to be anything with Koinu, just doing the overall update. And depending on the size of this storm, there may be tropical storm watches issued for Bermuda or how far west this it decides to go in the cone of well, Kona death, really. Anyways, we got Typhoon Koinu with 115 mile an hour winds. Gonna jump up to 125, 130, and then weaken down to 125, 120. 105 upon landfall in Taiwan. Maybe 110 at the point of landfall and weakening as it goes over land. Continue to weakening to 75 mile an hour wind typhoon as it approaches China. Maybe a tropical storm upon landfall, unless it decides to re-strengthen. And again, satellite imagery is just out of it. So, the Atlantic's dead outside of Philip. And in the Pacific, uh, we got 80 to 90% chance for Invest 98E to form over the next week. And a 40% chance for the other area of interest to form over the next week. So that's going to be something to watch. That thing's going to be a depression by morning. Anyways, stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.